Hi, I'm John B, and welcome to Let's Play Starfleet Command Volume 2, Empires at War. Today I'm going to be moving around, and actually I think I'm going to attack the Gorns a little bit here. Missions, and it's a convoy raid. People, sit back, enjoy. This is going to be a long, long, long fight. Namely because there's going to be a lot, a lot of targets. Uh, let's see, ready, loading. Maximum alert. First thing I'm going to do is I notice I'm back in my frigate. I made an error here. I actually will be in... I switched over to the destroyer leader there. And I'll start trying to face the enemies. My job is to sink and destroy as many freighters as I can. And fortunately, I have friends. My favorite survey cruiser, my favorite light carrier here as well. As well, the Gorns seem to have, looks like, uh, five freighters. Six, maybe. And a pair of frigates defending their ships. Just a little bit of maintenance there. You can see the survey cruiser crossing in front of me, and my frigate getting uh, taking up position in front of me. Setting my weapon groups here, nothing's unusual. You usually have to reset those every mission, I find. It's annoying, but it's usually plenty of time to do before the game starts. I'm actually not going to be firing on the frigates this moment, because as my job is to go after the um, freighters, I think I'm going to go after them instead. Oh. Great. Wild weasel. I don't need a wild weasel! Ugh. This is annoying. Shields reinforced. Let's bring up my speed by checking out my shield reinforcement. The freighters are going to be moving at a constant speed of 10 until they get damaged, and as such, you know, they're pretty easy to figure out where they're going. I can hear in the background more combat happening. Oh, one of the frigates passed behind me there and tried damaging my shields, but they're holding, thankfully. If you put all that fire onto the same shield, he probably would have damaged something. I have my two plasma torpedoes ready. They're going to be my primary offense here. Freighters don't have a lot in the way of weapons or systems, but they are quite durable. Insanely so. There go the G-Torps. Yellow balls of Plasmy Doom. And they impact quite cleanly. But I think I'd better get that frigate off my uh, rear shield there. Fortunately, the shield is hold against all their damage, and nothing is taken. That sound you just heard was somebody performing a high-energy turn. Don't know who, don't know where. I'm slowing down now to keep me, keep pace with the freighter. Uh, the other frigate is coming right behind me, and fortunately doesn't seem to be uh, ready to fight me seriously. Oh, Ow. F-type torpedo hit me, and I got damaged. Prepare the G-Torp, prepare for the phasers. Oh, kaboom! There goes a freighter. Casualties reported. I notice now that I'm down to 18 points of power out of tw instead of 22, and one of the freighters is destroyed. I think I'm going to need to kill some of the freighters temporarily, or some of the fighter frigates, not freighters, or fighters temporarily. Set to follow the guy. You can see in the background there the ring from the explosion that just happened. Some long range phaser sniping there. Well, actually, medium range, because there is range 6. At this point, I really need to start fixing my engine, so I did that as well. I've only got one po repair left, so I'm going to cancel repairs of the Phaser 3s there and prioritize repairs of the ones. This does not restore the damage or the uh, spare parts that I used to repair the Phaser 3s. Oh. Uh, fortunately, there's enough targets out here that the Gorn frigates are having are being distracted actually pretty well by the other guys. I canceled out all my ECM here. Sit freeing up four more points of power for using on other things. Swing around back around to face the frigate. 
and just waiting for all my phases to come in arc, like that. You notice that the Gorn Frigga there has a damaged torpedo and a damaged phaser. Oh, there comes an S. Ah, oh, looks like it was a pseudo torp from the. Looks like it was the carrier there. The announcer there said I've destroyed three of the freighters. That's actually a pretty good thing for me. More phasers, more phasers. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. If you take a good look, you'll see on the phaser threes on my ship there, the right hand side. Ooh, those are fighters. Lots and lots of phasers from the fighters. Right hand side phaser three, I've got a black half of it. That means there's normally two phaser threes attached to that hard point. One of them is destroyed, the other one is currently charging. Should be charging. I'm just currently checking out the ranges to all the other freighters. That guy's getting pretty far away, actually. Alright, phasers for the win! And this freighter is at range 67 and counting. Hmm, I'm gonna have to chase him down. Ooh, debris from the Gorn flying by. How pretty. For a moment there, my ship wiggled as it let the debris pass in order... As a way of, you know, avoiding collision with debris. I check out my map here and I see that one of my sh enemies is running away very, very fast. Well, faster than normal. So I'm going to have to run and chase down. For all the SFBers out there, the freighter is moving at speed 10. It is 60 hexes away from me. And I am moving at speed 26 and counting. Guess how many turns it's going to take for me to catch up. So I'm going to bring the speed up to 11 and sit back and enjoy the ride, people. Currently adopting evasive maneuvers, now that's going to help any. But slow my ship down here. Well, not slow the ship down, but slow the speed of the game down. Still a little bit of evasive maneuvers. That's not going to help you much, really. Once I fire off my weapon, I'm going to have to rapidly slow down. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to slow down now and escort myself to the plasma torpedoes for a bit. Light damage. Phasers, and the, ooh, solid hits. Excellent. I'm going to slow down to keep pace with the freighter here, speed 6 to a 6.1. That means he's going to gain a hex on me every 10 energy cycles, 10 turns. And yes, you are no longer hearing the dramatic background music, it's just down to calm silence. I think I ran the track out. More phaser fire. Hmm. The GCS Cave Protector. Speed 6.1. What the hell? The fighters followed me? All the way out here? Four fighters. Six fighters. Oh, for the, for the love of Mike. Shouldn't you guys be back there fighting off the frigate? Uh, now I just gotta wait for my weapons to cycle so I can turn around and uh, blow this guy up. More phasers. Stupid frigate. Freighters being tough as hell to blow up. Half tended to try and capture this thing, but uh, I decided that won't be so. Oh! Freighters blew it up. I have destroyed all the freighters. We have accomplished our mission, Lieutenant. Excellent, but I'm not going to leave until this uh, Gorn Frigate has been destroyed. So, turn to face him, and hopefully I'll get back there before these guys actually become competent and blow him up. But considering looking at the damage over here, the Gorn Frigate only has a Phaser 1 and an F-Torp left, and is pretty much destroyed. Oh, there he goes. Yay, victory! Hoorah! temporarily slow down the speed because unlike weapon groups, the system speed does maintain between missions. And here's the debriefing. 220 prestige, astounding victory. And actually I did pretty damn good.